Hey everyone, I'm off down the snooker club, but I just wanted to film a little introduction while I'm on my way, because i got a video to put up tonight and I wanted to get an introduction done for it. And it is the first in the new series of me trying to get a 50 break in my open table routine. So you may not be aware that I ran a poll on the channel a couple of weeks ago to see what challenge, practice challenge, I should focus on over April and May. And the overwhelming winner was to attempt to get a 50 break in my open table practice routine. Uh, the one that I put together as part of the Road to an Open Table series. So check out that series if you haven't watched that already. And I was pretty pleased with those results because that was probably the challenge I wanted to do myself. But, uh, you know, I did want to try and do a poll on the channel to see what the results came out like. So yeah, I was pretty relieved to see that. And I think it would be a good challenge to try and get done for the anniversary of the channel, which is coming up in May, if I can get a 50 break before, say, the end of May, which is roughly the anniversary of the channel, then uh, I feel like I will have made some progress over the year and uh, will be a nice cherry on top of the icing on top of the cake for what has been a pretty good year of, uh, of snooker for me in what, let's just say, my first year, because, you know, although I've played before, I haven't played much before. And this is the first year I've tried to actually concentrate on getting good. So the way the series is going to work is I attempt this challenge pretty much every session I go to the snooker club. Not every time, but certainly will be today. And uh, what I'll do is I'll show the best attempt from each session. Uh, and hopefully we'll build up to eventually getting that 50 break. Uh, so I've got three attempts to show you in this video uh, from when I first started filming it. And uh, I hope you enjoy them. So this was the first attempt, and I filmed this on the 24th, which was uh, Monday, last Monday. And uh, yeah, so this was my first attempt after posting the poll and uh, realizing this was going to be the challenge. And uh, yeah, so here we go. Uh, you'll notice that I always start around the blue. Uh, I think I mentioned that in a previous video when I was uh, doing this as a, as a clearance. I tend to always start around the blue because I can basically clear these four reds and the, with blues. Not every time, but most of the time. Um, so that after that, it's basically where I go from there. I usually then try and go get the ones around the pink, but sometimes I end up on the bot colours. We'll, but we'll see how this one goes. Uh, some changes to the scoring on this particular video then is um, showing the actual colours and the numbers of the balls potted in the break uh, as well as the break total and then as we go on I'll show you um, the best break of the week uh, and then the best break of all time hopefully you know I'm not I'm probably not going to beat it every week but hopefully it won't take me too long hopefully it won't take me too long to get to 50 uh, sorry about my voice still I'm still uh, trying to get rid of this cold, it's taking a little bit longer to shake off and it's gone to my chest a little bit so I get out, I get out of breath quite a lot so if you hear me uh, struggling to get my words out it's because I'm uh, struggling for breath but it's not that bad honestly, it's just uh, you know when I was a 20 something colds used to last what two days maybe three and now they last two weeks maybe three uh, now I'm a 40 something uh, nice pot on the green, but the white's running away a little bit. Uh, but, you know, it's okay. All those reds around the black are waiting. So up to 28 already. But 28 is where it's going to stay until the next attempt. And this is the next attempt, and it was filmed a couple of days later, so skip a day basically because uh, I ended up playing a match uh, on the day in between, so I didn't actually get a practice session in, which, uh, for your information, I actually managed to get my highest break in a match in that uh, in one of those frames, which was ended up being 37, and really should have been more because uh, I potted a red and went off two cushions in off, and had I not gone in off, I would have been perfectly on the pink. So I was pretty good about that, but never mind. Uh, so this is where this is actually an attempt where I don't pot the uh, four reds around the blue first. I end up accidentally 
uh, getting positioned on the pink. <laughs> well, not ex- accidentally, but uh, play a bad positional shot, so I have to go down for the pink. Uh, and then I start looking at these reds on the black, around the black, basically. So just a little run through there. So you can see now on the records, the week and the all time is updated because I've had one attempt. I'm using my phone to keep uh, score as well. Yeah, I'm using. I don't often keep score in uh, in these kind of sessions because it's not always a good idea. Because if I do start getting close to the end, um, start getting you know getting a bit nervous. But in terms of editing the video, I, I would like to know if there is an attempt that's worth you know worth showing. So. Um, you know, uh, I do keep score in this one uh, so that I can see which attempts are actually going to. I need to look at on the video rather than going through the whole uh, session. I got a lucky kiss on the red there, which meant I stayed on position for the blue, but already up to 29, which is beating my previous best from the day before yesterday relative to this one. Uh, so up to 34, and I'm pretty nicely on this red. Can I get out for the pink? Uh, you'll notice that I forgot to put the blue on the spot, but thankfully it didn't affect the shot. Uh, you know, it didn't didn't affect any kind of positional shot or anything like that, so it still counts as far as I'm concerned, anyway. But that was a very pathetic shot on the pink, unfortunately, and that is the end of that attempt. But still, an improvement. And on to the next. So this is the final attempt of the week, and I filmed this on the 30th of April. Uh, this is the last one I filmed of the week. So as usual, trying to get around these... Uh, Reds over the blue spot, all around the blue spot. Ooh, just about held that one, decelerated there. Could easily have snooked myself on the blue behind that red, which would have been pretty stupid. And, you know, I have done that on previous attempts, which obviously I'm not showing. So, so far, so good. Three reds, three blues. And nicely on this red, though, I think I'm a bit low, so I think I'm going to have to go up for bot colours here. So, just on and off the cushion for hopefully land on brown. Yeah, brown it nicely. Got a little bit into that too much though. The red came away, and the cue ball came away from the, the bulk line a little bit more than I wanted. But I'm pretty straight on this red, so I should be able to just slight screw back for brown again or yellow maybe. But I think brown. I think I've probably got an angle just to come off the cushion. Uh, no, to screw back. Ooh, just about got into that enough. I think I've got the red back here, yeah, back into the yellow pocket. Uh, decide to go back down for the blue. And don't quite get that right. Overhit it a little bit. But we've landed pretty straight on this blue into the top left corner. So just a bit of a run through for the red next to the green. So up to 33. Uh, just screwing back on this one for brown, hopefully. Oh, didn't get into that well enough. Bit of a stretch, but it's still got this green. Uh, and it should be a simple shot to stay onto the red that's in between the brown and green. There we go. So up to 37. Uh, red here. 
tried to run through because I'm dead straight. Don't really get into it. Uh, it's pretty disappointting. But yellow to the middle is not too bad. I'm not exact, not tight on the cushion, and this is just got a nice enough angle that I can head down the other end of the table for the reds. Yeah, pretty happy with that. Just run a little bit further out of light for that red above the pink, but it still means I've got a decent angle to get back out for the blue. So up to 40. This is the first break I've ever had in the 40s. Ooh, just about managed to avoid the middle pocket. Uh, pretty nice on this red, so I can pretty much play for either of these two reds near the pink. Or try and get onto the line of reds on the black, actually. Might be the better of a shot. Uh, yeah, so playing on and off the cushion. Just a little bit too far to the left. Um, could have just hit down a little bit further down the cue ball to keep it close to the centre of the table, which means that's the end of the break. Which is a shame because I was perfect on the black and if I'd got that red, I could have well made the 50 there and then. But as it happened, I didn't. And here's how that looks on my graph. And I've got plenty of placeholders for more attempts at this, but you know, if you extrapolate that graph, then in theory, I should be doing it in the next session. So. We'll see how it goes. I uh, haven't uh, genuinely, have, at the time of recording this voice, or I haven't done another attempt at this uh, session, at this uh, routine, so I haven't done it yet. But hopefully tomorrow I'll do the first of week two's attempts. And there should be another video up on this next week. So hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you then.